all right guys in this video i'm gonna uh, list to you my personal top five important things that are are really needed if you want to take your wheelie game up to the next level and to make sure it's very necessary when you're practicing it as well and you know if you find this video helpful in any way consider subscribing liking the video helps out my channel a lot and then yeah let's get into my top five right out the box there could be some improvements that you can have right, so the first thing that i would recommend is uh and i'm going to link all these things as much as i can in the description below uh get three inch riser handlebars as you can see the stock one the stock handlebars are very flat i find myself right here hunched over when i first got it that didn't help a lot and so that's one thing i would recommend number two uh this is kind of like an all together but definitely uh if you want to start wheeling right you're gonna start maybe you know thrashing the bike you know I would always and what always happens is that the handlebars they get twisted over because of the position uh because of the clamp that's on it for number two i would recommend uh these direct stem from grid shift this is well the ones i use are from grid shift uh they have a nice little two inch rise so it helps a lot to bring up the handlebars as well these i really really highly recommend they're so freaking robust and they help bring the uh the bike handlebars higher so when you're pulling it up it's way more easier especially if you're a taller rider i'm 5'11 so this definitely helps a lot another thing that goes along with it is uh i got this from prickly it's these direct stem risers which help me bring the bar up even more higher so i guess these two are kind of like a two-in-one you can definitely have it just without it but if you want extra height if you're like you're finding yourself to be taller definitely recommend it like i said link in the description oh nice i was uh oiling my my forks so i could see that they're working number three another thing that i would definitely have that's most important this is not in particular and in any order but if i were to put it which i should have is uh the brakes so a lot of people get uh magura mt5s mt7s those brakes highly recommend them they're so buttery smooth i don't have them on my bike but i've wheelied a few bikes and suron bikes that had these magura brakes and oh my god they're so buttery so that's something that i would recommend as well but if like you're like me that currently doesn't have it at this moment uh what i recommend is getting these uh these shimano brake pads i believe they're ho3c the metallic ones they will stop your bike on a dime way better than stock way better than stock so if you find yourself not trying to spend uh what is it like 200 even though i would recommend it but um if you find yourself not buying them at the moment definitely an alternative is having these definitely in the back and always having them uh, never and have them in the front as well because a lot of them the majority of the stops i do is front as you can see these brake pads are worn down in the front look how far they go until they start right here they start kind of like giving out resistance for the back brake yeah it's always around here yeah anything goes like a little bit lower i just change them out i wouldn't even give myself a chance to to even go to that level the fourth one i would say is very important if you want to start wheeling uh sir on bikes is pegs man these pegs they're a fucking game changer so i had the stock pegs and i was trying them for a while i didn't think they would matter much but oh my god once i started needing a little bit more firm grip on my on my shoes i have flat shoes Oh my god these uh i'll put the link in the description people use the warp 9 one these are like 30 dollar uh 40 i believe they're 30 or 40 dollars on ebay they're they're amazing they haven't crapped out on me and anything definitely recommend the pegs even if you even if you weren't willing it still get the peg upgrades it's very necessary and for the fifth one the fifth most important thing that i would say when you're trying to wheelie this uh suron bike 
uh, you know we're not always gonna get it up you know sometimes we're gonna fall like I mentioned earlier so with uh, the weakest point on this bike I've noticed from other people's thank God not for me because I was smart but uh, as you see these kind of uh, where the pegs are held on uh, when the the bike falls over the first thing that's gonna hit the floor it's probably uh, the throttle sorry the, the handlebars the, the brake levers and then the first one will be uh, your pegs so inevitably what's gonna happen is this is gonna bend in if this doesn't have a support beam so this support rod would be the number fifth most important thing I would say when uh, wheeling a Suron because say if it falls down it's not gonna bend in and then once if this piece is very like sensitive this is actually a flaw I would say but yeah having the if this breaks you know they're really hard to find a lot of time Luna don't have them on sale and sorry not sale but on, in stock and if you want to buy them from Alibaba it takes about a month and nobody wants to wait a month so you can sit on your uh, you can sit on your surround peg so beautifully so yeah I would recommend those things definitely those five things besides you know practice patience happy smile and good attitude because sometimes you're not gonna get it. it took me about four months to actually be like okay i'm up here and i'm like controlling it rather than pick it up oh my god slam yeah, definitely just to recap uh the five most important things that i found for myself to be when trying to do a wheelie on this suron right would be getting a, a taller handlebar one getting uh the direct stem mount with the optional uh piece for uh direct stem increase right uh the brakes very much important the brakes right either get the maguros mt5s or sevens with or if not get the just change out with the stock with the stock uh brakes get these uh shimano ho 3c's i hope i'm saying that right the metallic ones they're amazing the pegs definitely and of course the peg bracket support i would say the rod underneath here those five things will save you a bunch of headaches and hopefully a bunch of falls if you get those link is going to be in the description i hope this helped right i'm i'm about to hit one year with this bike in about maybe i think in a week or two uh, i'm going to probably do a video of my willy progressions and stuff like that because it's crazy how i started just you're going to see but yeah anyways guys if you found this video useful uh hit that thumbs up considering subscribing it helps out the channel a lot and then yeah i'll see you guys in the next video